Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. This girl made $65,000 per Instagram post, so we're gonna talk about her. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We're talking about Bella Thorne. Yeah. Bitch, I'm Bella Thorne, the girl you managed. Okay, listen, not a lot of people like her. I didn't like her in the beginning until I watched this video. Bella Thorne is an actor. She actually started on Disney Channel. You might see her face before. She's like a social media star. She's like 17 million followers. She's really, 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 uh, she's really fun. And I feel like after watching this documentary of Bella Thorne, changed my perspective and I really want to share it. So this video is going to be short. I got a pee. Uh, anyways, I don't- why did I tell you guys that? Anyways, it's gonna be short. I gotta pee later. Okay, so we're gonna watch this video. I will link it below if you want to see the full thing, but I just want to show you guys a little bit about how she grew, and I did some deep research I wanted to share. So make sure you drop down your questions or comments below if you ever have a question for me. On this channel, we talk about social media growth, and I really care about you guys, so just let me know if you ever need anything, and we're gonna dive right in. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Okay, first five seconds, I don't know what's going on. People could say, how could you do that, you whore? How could you kiss your boyfriend in a coffee shop? And I take this phone out of my hand and I literally look at it. I'm going to delete the photo and I look. <laughs> honestly, my mood. I was honestly really shook because if you're in the industry, especially being a well-known actor, you don't want to ruin your reputation. And she did. Posting, it's um, 65 grand a post. What? Um. Okay, yo, 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 Jay, we want to have a brand deal. How much do you charge? Uh, 65 dollars. Two thousand! Started at 18 with literally $200 in my bank account, and I bought this house a year later, a year and a half, and it's all from social media. Ty Lopez is shaking. This girl literally had $200 in her bank account at 18, now she's 20, and she bought a house. What have you bought with Instagram? Probably nothing. We're all struggling here. <laughs> she is honestly such an inspiration. I love it. She's just so, she's so, like she earned her money and she didn't need an old man on the director chair telling her what to do to make it. So props to Bella. Studying that shit. Demographics and ratios and engagement and definitely like the more technical side of it. Ella needs to start her own digital marketing course. You just she just said it herself. She studies her demographics, her niche. She no wait, hold up. Watch this clip. I finally hit a mill. That was like a big spot for me to hit a mill likes on a photo. To me standing in a rather body conscious dress. Ah, oh, like this is what they like. This is what you want to see? Okay, so I kind of try to even it out. This is the part where I'm gonna try to be serious. I think Bella is super, super self-aware. I think her success on social was obviously lots of hustling. She actually interacts with her fans a lot, even if she doesn't have to, being a big A-list celebrity. She just said that her audience wants to see her in revealing outfits and dresses, but she stays true to herself and just evens it out with posts that makes her happy and what gives value to the audience. So I feel like if that is the case for you where you feel like certain content strives attention, you don't have to do it all the time. You can mix it in and even it out. And my favorite way to do it is the 80-20 rule. So 80% is whatever gets the traffic and 20% is what you really want to do. And as long as you're having a good intention and overall goes with your ethos, then you're, you shouldn't have a problem with persisting through and going through it. And I feel like Bella really encaptures just kind of hustling with social media and she took one and a half years, so props to her for working for so hard. If you're sitting here judging me, which you are, everyone is, for one moment, just try and stop. Maybe like close your eyes and open them again. What do you see now? It's so hard to be yourself. And if you're able to do it, then you won. And if you really, really believe in your strengths and the things that you're really good at or the few things you're good at, you don't worry about all the bad shit that happened. It means you've won. So in certain cases, fuck an algorithm and just do you. And then when you're ready, put in some magical marketing techniques to scale it. It starts with being yourself. Because if you try to be someone else, there's no value in that. And if you're not gonna, that's totally cool. 
but I realize your competition is probably going to do it for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. A short video, but important. I hope you like the series. I will do more as long as you like them. So give this video a like and subscribe to watch more videos. Why don't you guys wait to the end card if you want to catch up with other videos you haven't seen yet. But for now, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below something that you want to see next. And I'll catch you guys very soon. I love you, love you very much. And I truly care about you. I'm giving stories out here just to inspire you and keep you motivated on your social media journey. See you guys in the next one. Good. Bye. Yeah.